And happening today, blow the dust off that old Batman costume, the Indianapolis Comic Con is back in town this weekend. Thousands of comic book enthusiasts and sci-fi fans are in town to take in the sights. Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon is there this morning, and he joins us now with more on today's special events. Good morning, Matt. Carrie, good morning. No outfit here for me, but I am on the red carpet. This is actually where all of the different comic book artists will be here. They've got their Sharpies ready. They will be signing autographs right here. And then down this way here inside the Indiana Convention Center, you can see where the celebrities will be also. A lot of big names are expected here this weekend for the second year Comic Con will be in Indianapolis. Joining us now with more on the event is a spokesperson. Good morning to you. Good morning. And let's talk about the celebrities. First of all, a lot of big names will be here this weekend. Yes, um, our headlining celebrity is Carrie Fisher, who plays Princess Leia in the Star Wars film. We also have Jason Momoa and Rory McCann from Game of Thrones and Jenna Coleman from Doctor Who. This is the calm before the storm right now because I know doors open here at 10 o'clock this morning. What's kind of going on right now to get ready for the event and how many people are expected? Well, for the entire weekend, we're expecting 30,000 attendees. And at the moment, being how it's very early, what we're <laughs> doing is just setting up. This year, we have more paneling, more signs, more staff, and of course, more space. When we look at video from last year, we had 20,000 people and things got kind of chaotic to a degree. What's kind of being done differently this year to manage uh, more? people well like I said we have reserved over three times as much space as last year so that will definitely help with the crowding issue and then we also have more things going on in the panel room so attendees don't have to just hang out in the hallways anymore and we have a very special event getting underway here in just a half hour yes we do we have the very first Indiana Comic Con wedding um, the very happy couple William and Kaylee are local and we are so thrilled that they decided to choose Indiana Comic Con Wow. And to get married here, I mean, do they sort of tell, you know, what uh, <laughs> drove the decision to come to Comic-Con and get married today? Well, I can only assume that they had a great experience last year and that they're huge Comic-Con enthusiasts. Um, comic books are great, and I guess they're very passionate about it, and we're so excited. Great. All right. Sounds good. That wedding here in the convention center coming up in a half hour. The cake has arrived, so there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work getting done in one of the sort of breakout rooms for the big wedding coming up here at 8.30. So in addition to the wedding, there, of course, are a lot of events. There are more than 200 different booths and vendors from all across the country who will be here as well, in addition to some of the celebrities and the artists who will be signing autographs as well. So there's a lot going on for Comic Con. We have more information on ticket prices and the like on our website at WTHR.com. Reporting live, Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you. Uh, but